here we are on day three. Day two occurred late last night when I got home. I did two very, very quick sessions. I think it was a total of eight bets. That's all I needed to, for two sessions. And um, I got my full $50 on all player bets. So that brings our starting balance to day three at $1,327.15 and we'll be going for three to five units depending on how long the video goes. So I'm going to be daring. Last night um, I was playing table A. I played it twice. Came back and played it some more because it was just going so good. I'm going to attempt fate and go for a third time. There's enough hands I might be able to get one off. We'll see what happens. Bring over our recorder. Should work about there. And this is what we don't want to see. We don't want to see a completion of an X pattern. We'll use the first selection to bet the opposite of the X. All right, let's get at it. Clear that up. All righty, let's enlarge that. And take a free hand. And it is starting the morning off excessively laggy. Got a banker. We'll see how this plays out. Might have to do some rebooting of the router. So, take another free hand. Tie. Okay, this might be a little too laggy for me. So let's see what happens here. Our first bet comes up will be a player. Player for five dollars. Player wins. <laughs> well, I was drawn out. <laughs> All right, we get the win on that one. Up $5, I'm gonna do a reboot of the router and we'll be right back. Okay, looks like I'm back. Let's see if this helps any. Uh, we just won the last one, so we're, oops, over my board. There it is. Okay, that one was completed, so we'll clear that. And take a free hand. Yeah, it was kind of still slow. What happened? We took it away. Okay, banker. Oh, I need to do a whole reboot. Let's see if it figures itself out. Banker again. And now we'll parlay bet to player. $10 to player. Seven, <laughs> three, monk. Player win. Okay. Holy crap. That was slow. Okay. So one $10 there, up 15. So actually up three units right now. I'm going to now do a complete reboot of the computer and see if it does anything with this lagging. Be back again. Alrighty. Hopefully it was his third time a charm. Uh, after the reboot, uh, my, my connection speed was way, way down. It improved by half, but still it's half down where it should be. So let's see if we can fuddle through this. Okay, so we one last one. Bring my board back up here. Alrighty, it's still lagging. We'll see how it goes here. Currently up three units. Oops. We need the free. So yeah, up here I don't like that they got the free free hand right next to the reshuffle button. <laughs> I've hit the reshuffle so many times. It's ridiculous. I hate this new layup layout. Anyways, let's get a free hand. That came out a little faster. 
player. Let's get another one. Player. All right, so we would be going five to player. Player wins. All right, back to the suspense. <laughs> Goodness. So that's player. Yeah. I mean, every, you know, it's not just the internet connection. It's my whole computer's laggy. It just did an update, like, the day before. And it's been kind of wonky ever since then. So I wonder if the update did something. Um, okay, so my tally counter's off. All right, why do I got two of these up now? Goodness. <laughs> you know, between the, the first session recording the complete thing without audio and now this it's like good golly it's having all kinds of fun trying to do this okay so we're not there yet so let's clear up and try again give me another free hand banker this shoe is definitely an example of why not to give up on a shoe, especially if it's going good, because <laughs> it's been going great so far. Because um, each the next hand's independent. Each hand is each hand is independent of the next, so it really doesn't matter. But anyways, let's try. Okay, try this again. 47, 50, okay, I'm down $5, okay, <laughs> oh my gosh, such a confusing session. Okay, so this is a point where I'm not going to parlay my bet, because I won the last hand, but I only need $5 to hit my target, so I am just going to bet $5. I don't want to risk going down 10 So come on, player. Ooh. Player wins. Oh, we pulled it out. Okay. Well, there we go. $1,352.15 on the nose. Again, winning all player bets. Wasn't the intention, but that's how it worked out. Love the shoe. Okay, so I'm going to add $25 win today. It'll be the first session completed. Hopefully, just one more needed. Now, um, on this, okay, before I went to the more conservative progression for the star betting, I did hit a loss using P3. I was down $458, and I think the, what was about left was 57 bucks, and I just kind of bet crazy and lost that too. So I was down on a pretty good hole, and at that point, that's when I switched to using the uh, X marks the spot. And I won three the next day. So I t or no, it was a couple days later. I took a little time off. Um, and then I tried to just do a minus seven stop loss. And I lost twice in a row. This one would have been a loss had I not used stage two. But I was like, I was like damn, I'm not taking another loss. So I'm going to use stage two and won it. And then that was the rest. One, uh, this purple one, I actually tried a no commission table, which was interesting. Um, and got $10 off that one. However, being the no commission, I believe if Banker wins with a six or a tie, I get, I might be confusing a couple games, but it's either a six or a tie, I get half my bet back. So, in a sense, that's a nice way of saying you're losing half your bet. Well, if I'm in stage two and it's getting really high, I don't want to lose half my bet. <laughs> that would really screw things up. So, I'm going to stay off the... I mean, it's fine on the the uh, flat bet, I guess. But I definitely don't want to be playing stage two with a no commission table. Then, well, that's what I won there. Uh, oh, actually, I ran out of lines. I was overplaying, yeah, because I played 11 times. So that was multiple sessions. 
over here in the blue, the poker, it was a poker win. I got a free $5 entry and wind up, wound up winning $46.29. So that was a nice little bump back. Then as you can see, these were my results from the other sessions. And then yesterday's quick two wins. And then the first one here, which now, so technically I'm like 21 and two playing with some version of the star betting. So here's the tallies and the units. You can see there's, I wound up losing $338.23 overall on that day. Where I hit the um, 458 because I already had profits. So it wasn't as bad, but still I was down $338. And these are my results for the last couple days. And I'm currently down $10.21. On my next session, I should be getting into the positive from the loss. But overall, since I started the star 2.0 my way um, currently up $152.15 so we shall see how it goes I got stats all over the place I keep because right now I'm using the base bet of 5 instead of 25 alright well that's enough um, if I get a better connection later on maybe I'll try another shot of recording a session because right now that it slides a little too much. I only need one more session, so we'll see. If not, we'll see you on the next day. Until then, Bakra Nation, signing out.